there have been ongoing legal disputes between the telecommunication giant Nokia and the car maker Daimler in Europe. Daimler has accused Nokia of antitrust conduct because Nokia refused to license its telecommunication patents to Daimler on the basis of the chipset price. Nokia insisted to provide a license only on the basis of the vehicle, therefore charging a higher price by manipulating its dominant position in this technology area. But is it really a fair practice? And how are such practices litigated in the EU? Hi, my name is Li Chen, and I am currently doing an advanced master degree in intellectual property law in Maastricht University. In this research vlog, I would like to talk a bit about patent licensing, particularly the basis for calculating the licensing royalty rate. The question raised in the Nokia case seems to be whether patent holders should license their patents on the component level, for example, licensing a chipset which is a component of a car. Licensing the whole car of course has a higher price and would allow the patent holders to get a higher licensing rate by basing the licensing on the end product. Is it quite important to stress that the patents at issue are standard essential patents? SEPs form essential part of a technical standard which aims to achieve interoperability between different products. Therefore, they are of crucial importance for patent implementers like Daimler in order to make use of the patented technology. For example, a standard is created for USB plugs so that all the mobile phones and laptops, regardless of their brands, are interoperable and can be con connected and charged without any hassles. Similarly, in order for Daimler cars to be equipped with communication function by installing chipsets, they have to comply with communication standards which are created with numerous Nokia's SEPs. It means they have to get license from Nokia's SEPs relating to telecommunication technology. Considering hundreds of thousands of Daimler cars are involved, the licensing fee would be tremendous. Thus, it is important for Daimler to fight and get the licensing deal on the basis of the components. European Commission, on the other hand, is yet to start a formal investigation concerning Nokia's alleged antitrust acquisition. Meanwhile, the questions have also been referred to CJEU by Regional Court Dusseldorf and are yet to be answered. Awaiting the decision on the case, one may consider that the component level licensing is a more justifiable practice due to three reasons. First, the licensing rate should be based on this chipset only because the patented technology is embodied by the chips in the car and the chip is the smallest sellable patented practicing unit therein. And second, the selling price of vehicle is not only decided by the communication function enabled by the chipset, even though it makes a significant contribution to it. But the total price also includes other units of the car like the engine, car frame, and many other components. Therefore, charging the royalty rate based on the price of the car may allow the telecommunication SEP owners to deprive extra value that does not belong to them, which is unfair. And third, such practice may cause a price increase in the end product, which will eventually have to be borne by the consumers. And this should be prevented by antitrust-related authority and legislation. Setting aside all the arguments, there's no doubt that the decision that will be given by the court will have a huge impact on technology industry as well as other SEP litigations held by the courts in the EU. Thanks for watching.